Detecting structural variants, things like deletions, duplications, inversions, and translocations is difficult, which is frustrating because if we look at a variant in something like the integrative genomics viewer, we can pretty easily determine if the variant is real or some artifact. However, we have been unable to convert this intuition into an automated method that can consistently differentiate between true positives and false positives. To close this gap, SVPlotit scales manual curation to thousands of structural variants. To do this, users are presented with a web page for each variant in the call set. The page includes the location of the variant and the alignment data associated with each sample in that region. In this case, we have a trio. For each sample, we plot the coverage on the right axis and the paired end and split read data, which is organized by insert size, on the left axis. From this alignment data, users consider the curation question and select one of the curation answers by either clicking on the associated button or, to make scoring faster, typing the key bound to that option. Once an option is selected, a new image is presented and users select another answer option. Progress is given along the top, and once users' scores are collected, reports can be generated as either a tab delimited file or an annotated VCF. That's the basics of SVPlotit. Our results show that even novice users can score over a thousand variants per hour, making it possible to curate full SV call sets. With this, we expect SVPlotit to become a standard step in variant calling pipelines, and it will be used to create high quality truth sets for SV method evaluation and training. Full documentation, examples, and source code are available at our GitHub site.